What up YouTube, Mr. Mac here. Welcome back to the Mac Shack for the next episode in our Football Manager 2020 Lynx FC Road to Glory. This is the chain wreck. And well, you see we are here on Jaden Parody's profile page. And the reason for that is very clear. As you can see in the fitness section, just there, he has a broken lower leg and will be out for six to nine months. We've sent him to a specialist, um, but you look at his stats and, and you look at all competitions, 23 appearances, two goals, eight assists, um, two player of the match awards, an average rating of 7.27. It's a huge blow as uh, one of our only players that can play on the right-hand side of midfield. Um, and the injury came just two minutes into our 3-0 win against uh, Manchester 62 FC. So we have continued the clean sheet streak. We've had Valdivia and Morgan scoring again, and we also had Danielson Carvalho getting on the scoreboard. Unfortunately... That broken leg is the one thing that's going to mar that performance. And now we face College Europa with Leon Clinton playing on the right wing for us. Great green ratings here in the last five games for our team. Um, we've just got to make sure that we work really hard here to get the job done. It has been, yeah, an interesting week. Albert, uh Alberto Antonio Gonzalez, a midfielder that has not been playing very much lately. Um, he got really frustrated that we weren't going to play him because Sean De Los Santos is doing better and started talking to the media about it. And we were like, well, if you don't want to be here, I guess we can make something else happen. We shopped him around to a bunch of different clubs. He was like... Oh, well, the clubs were like, actually, we don't want him. He's not that good. And I was like, what did I tell you? And we released him on a free transfer. So he is gone. Um, other than that, there hasn't really been any real changes. The, the squad hasn't really been frustrated or anything like that with our decisions, which is great. Um... They seem to be all very happy with that. Probably just disappointed more so with the injury to Jaden Parody, who has become, you know, a real staple of this team. Um, but Clinton stepping up and filling those shoes. Kelvin Morgan is offside. Carvalho or Danilo Danielson. There, yeah, there, Carvalho with a nice little touch there. And are we the yellow or the red? I don't even know. I don't know if that was offside. Do they make mistakes in this game? Could that be a mistake by the linesman? Should we have been... Should we be a goal to the good here? I don't know. I don't usually criticise the FA, but I wasn't super sure about that one. We go into the halftime break at uh, nil all with no chances. I really am... Um, I'm going to say unlucky. I am looking for you guys to really step up here in the second half. Um, let's go to attacking and let's say show some passion. Yes, get them fired up while they're uninterested. And we're going to do nothing with it for the first 15 minutes. So, oh, except Clinton's got the ball to Valdivia. It's stolen away off his feet, only as far as power. Back to Delos Santos now in the middle of the park. Plays it back to power. Power coming forwards with the ball. Plays a ranging pass across the box. Galliano to Valdivia into the back of the net and right on the stroke of the hour mark. Lynx FC take the lead. 1-0. And just a very interesting passage of play there. As you see the ball just sort of pinballing around the box. Uh, Galliano playing in Valdivia. And we're going to make some subs here. That probably has saved Galliano's game, I would suggest. Jamie Bozio not playing too well on the left side of defence. Elva Fontaine also not doing too well on the right. 
So we're going to take Elba Fontaine out. He's on loan. Um, not really being very impressive so far, I must say. Hopefully he does pick up in the future. Um, we've got a couple of guys that will be running a bit light on energy later on. We're going to put Avalano out on the wing. He's absolutely atrocious out there, but we need to fill a hole. So we're going to hope that he can fill that hole for us. Um, we're going to keep on keeping on. 75 minutes, we're going to demand more. Probably set ourselves back to balanced here as well. 80 minutes now, we go back to cautious. 85 minutes, we go defensive. We say, give us some more, boys. 90 minutes, we go very defensive. And I think we just hold on for a cheeky little 1-0 win. And just like that, it's over. Bradley Bander, 587 consecutive minutes without conceding now. 13 shots to four. So Link, uh, College Europa did not get a shot. Not, doesn't, regardless of being on target or not, they didn't get a shot in the second half. We dominated them. And look, let's be honest, they may actually miss the Europa League this, this season. Um, they're fifth at the moment, two points behind Manchester 62, who have a game in hand. I can't remember... No, they did play in the Europa League at the start of the year. So, um, yeah, look, that's, uh, that's a really good start to the episode, grabbing that one good goal. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little cut for you, and I will come back to you right on the verge of the Lincoln Red Imps game here. So I will see you shortly. Welcome back. And as you can see here... Um, Lincoln Red Imps have lost their first game of the season. That's right, St. Joseph's FC got a sneak, surprise, amazing win against them uh, in the last game. So they could be out for revenge against us here today, or we could be opening up a brilliant seven-point gap on them with minimal games remaining in the competition. So... Let's head straight to the match preview. We've sold 1,600 tickets. We're away from home again. Um, obviously, Parity's going to be out for a million years. We've, we, we're not going to see him till next season. Um, other than that, no changes to the squad that beat uh, College Europa 1-0. We're going to get straight into this match here. Just a regular run-of-the-mill week other than that game. We're going to assertively say we owe them. Let's go and get revenge on them for last time. Um, some of the players that are playing today didn't actually play against them last time, but that's fine. Having the best defense in the National League. Yep, we are six games without conceding, seven game winning streak. Um, I trust my players to do their jobs. They're a threat, but so are we. Momentum's important. We just want to keep picking up results here. Let's see how we go. Uh, we're going to demand more. We're going to go cautious, I think, straight off the bat here. And we're going to let the first 10 minutes tick by without much of an event. I also wouldn't mind a nil-nil draw in this one. Um, it is going to hold us in front. It's going to keep our, keep our gap fairly consistent. We're comfortably leading the rest of the competition. We're half an hour in now. Let's tick up to balance. 10 minutes to play in the half. That was very close. Let's go very attacking for the last sort of 10 minutes or so. And we'll say, show some passion, lads. Come on, give me something. And we go back to positive. 13 shots to five. They certainly pummeled us, but they only had 52% possession. So we're not doing too badly. We do want to make sure that we step it up a little bit. Um, let's actually hit them pretty hard here. So I have faith in you. I certainly have faith in the midfield. I know that you guys can play better up front. Carvalho's not played overly well, and neither has De Los Santos at this point in time. So they're probably two subs that we could be making very shortly. Um, Cipollina with the throw for them to Christian. We get a foot in. I think that was Elba Fontaine. Um, and now Marquez plays inside to Khan. Khan dribbling the ball around, sort of loses it as he runs into Bandera. Plays back to Marquez, to Bandera again. 
headed to Cipollina, is intercepted. Danilo Carvalho takes the ball and he goes on a marauding run up the field. He's one on one. He almost turns it around the keeper and it goes out of play for a corner. That was probably the best chance that we've had. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Ethan Jolly now has the ball stripped away from him. Clinton gets on it again, though, following up, working hard after the corner. We play it back to Jamie Bozio, and the highlight is over. The Nielsen Carvalho. I need to remember his name properly. Uh, an hour gone now. I think, I think it's time. We're probably going to look at... Uh, tactics. Carvalho is on a yellow card as well. So now this is where we bring in, I think, we bring in Avellano for De Los Santos. And yes, we do get a little bit of a drop in the star ratings there. You can see even over the course of this season, uh, Clinton's here. Move Clinton inside to play as a Mazzala on attack. And then we're going to bring... Denilson Carvalho off, and we'll put Isaac Vinay in on the wing, and he is really missing out now. I think that's probably the best solution for us, just looking at the player ratings. Kelvin Morgan hasn't had a great game up front either. I don't want to sub him off because I feel like this, he's probably got something for us still to come with 20 minutes left. We're going to go very attacking here. Ethan Brito with a lofted ball, only as far as Ethan Jolly, to Avellano, then to Elba Fontaine, then to Valdivia. Valdivia now turns on the ball and plays a skewed pass out to Power, who is getting closed down in a hurry, and he plays all the way back to Bradley Bander. Now, Bradley Bander with the ball brings it out of his box, sends it, absolutely sends it to the opposition team. Jo Joseph Cipollina with the ball, back to Ethan Brito. Brito plays it up. Power gets in the way to disrupt it. We're back to Avellano. Power sends it forwards. Valdivia misses the header, or gets it. Kelvin Morgan. That was his chance to write his name in the history books there. Um, I need to see some passion here, boys. Last 10 minutes. Arroyo to Pringle. Is that his name? That's a brilliant name. Um, Nadia. And DIA offside. Thank you. Christian was offside, and that one is going to get chalked off. Bradley Bender's clean sheet streak continues, but our winning streak may be coming to an end. Seven minutes to go. Jolly now. Only as far as Arroyo plays a lofted ball back to Jolly again. Galliano gets on it this time. He plays a 1-2 with Clinton, gets it back inside to Avellano, sprays it across to Vinay on the opposite wing to Nandaye. Great tracking back there from Vinay to close that down and get in with a slide tackle. Unfortunately, Alba Fontaine can't do anything with it. Bandera plays in Ndaye, and Bradley Bander gets just enough on it there. Um, boys, what are we doing? What are we doing? Come on. We need something here in the last couple of minutes. It's another goal kick for Bander. He plays it forwards to Valdivia, gets a head on it. Back to Clinton. Clinton lost it over to Kelvin Morgan. I knew, I knew that there was going to be something there for him, but he has had the ball stripped off of his toes. Vinay now lofting the ooh, corner in. Kelvin Morgan. There it is. In completely unexpected fashion, we have gone 1-0 up against Lincoln Red Imps in the 88th minute. And that, Vinay's cross into the danger zone. Brito heads it on to Morgan. It was like perfectly practiced from the training field, except for the fact that Brito plays for Lincoln Red Imps. He hasn't actually got that much of a negative rating for that either. But most importantly, Lynx FC have taken a win out of essentially, well, I say out of nowhere, but then I look at the stats and we have four clear cut chances to one. So I feel like we definitely deserve that. Possibly we could have had our clean sheet streak broken, but that did not happen. Power 
50th league appearance for Lynx. Kelvin Morgan scoring his 25th league goal. And Lincoln Red Imps have had two losses in a row. Um, we played really, really special, really well. We're now seven points clear at the top of the table. Now, we probably have one more episode, uh, one more match for you this episode. Let's see if we can get another one, Neil Win. hey? We'll be back just in time for the St. Joseph's FC game on Monday, the 8th of March. So I will, uh, obviously game time, not, not real time. That would be a long time to wait for a video. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a shortcut here and I will catch you then. All right, we are back here on the eve or on the day of our match against St. Joseph's FC. You can see they're third in the league after all the other matches have been played and, and caught up to and all of that sort of thing. Um, we're in a little bit of a tricky spot here because we're not used to having so many matches in such short succession. You can see we've got three matches being played in the next seven days. Um, so looking at the league standings here, St. Joseph's FC, nine points behind us, nine points clear of Mons Calpe in fourth. Oh, Europa, you know, a little bit of struggle town there in fifth, but Rafa Escobar's job is still stable. Um, fairly close between the bottom three, bit of space in the top three here. So let us go down to pitch side. We're not going to make any changes here to our squad. Um, we're just going to let them play it out, let them see how we go. We will get right into it here. Um, we're going to say, let's show them why we're first and they're second. And then we're going to tell all the boys we have faith. That's probably one of the worst team talks we've ever done. Um, we're unbeaten in four. Um, we're ranked low. Yeah, look, I think we've got a. they can be beaten. Anyone can be beaten. We're definitely going to have to pay Jamie Coombs. Yeah, I've got good players, that's fine. Bozio, he's like a Swiss army knife. He can do a bit of everything. So we're gonna go cautious here. Um, oh boy, two and a half minutes in. Domingo with the corner. Uh, Elva Fontaine clears to Kelvin Morgan at the halfway line. Kelvin Morgan sort of holds up the ball, plays it back to Power. Power turns on it, sends it back to Bradley Bender. Bradley Bender plays to Galliano. Galliano turns and plays it back to Bozio, goes on a run, gets it back on the edge of the area now. Left-footed attempted cross is blocked, and now Boro comes back with it for St. Joseph's. Power gets a big header to it, but can only clear as far as Domingo. Domingo outside the box, well held by Bradley Bander. And we are going for a thousand minutes without conceding in this game, I believe. That is what uh, Bradley Bander will be at. A clearance by St. Joseph's, if, of course, we can keep the clean sheet, which if Coombs keeps shooting like that, we will have no problems doing. We really haven't started well, though. Haven't had a shot on goal in the first 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to say show some passion here, boys. Get a bit fired up. You're 25 minutes in now. Let's tick over to positive. We've had one shot off target. 30 minutes in, why don't we go attacking for the last 15? We'll demand a little bit more from the boys. <clears throat> Let's defend this corner. Brad Power just heads it straight back to Domingo. And we have been beaten. Well, our, goal our defense has been beaten anyway. Uh, Boro gets his third goal of the season with an assist by Domingo. That really wasn't very pretty. Um, it wasn't nice football at all. Boro just g getting a header in the middle of four of our players. And uh, we are behind. Can we do anything with it? We've got a minute to go, a minute of injury time before the break. Bozio throws back to Jolly. Bozio, oh my word. That was very dangerous. And also very not nice. Doesn't paint a very pretty picture at the moment. We have been absolutely atrocious here. So look, defense, you can get better. I believe in you. Um, you can make a real difference. 
Oh my word, we are really in struggle town here. Let's go attacking. Carvalho with a cross. I can't believe we've missed that. I cannot believe we just had an open chance. The goalkeeper flat on his face and we couldn't convert. This is troubling. And I'll tell you why it's troubling. Because we've only scored one goal in our last two matches. Here we go. Clinton with the ball. Apparently doesn't want to cross that. Apparently he wants to shoot. All right. We're playing some subs here. We're going to go Vinay for Clinton. Even though Clinton was one of the best that we've had. Let's undo that. We're going to leave Clinton in. We're going to put Vinay in for Galliano. We're going to put Avalano in for De Los Santos. And we're going to put Bouty in for Elba Fontaine because Bouty has been unhappy about the amount of football that he's been playing. We're just going to drop all three subs. It's 20 minutes to go now. We're going to go very attacking because we really need a goal. We really need to find something here to get us back in the game. And that's not going to do it. We're down 2 0. I. The Domingo. Domingo is just playing out of this world at the moment. He's had a brilliant game. I don't know who he is, I don't know where he's come from. I don't feel like they had him before. Who are you? Yeah, look at these stats. He's played 14 games for them. He's been here since 2017. Apparently, he's really good. I don't even know what to say to these boys anymore. What are you doing? Please give me something. Please look like you actually want to win. Please do not concede a third goal. Torilla plays to Cipollina. Cipollina back to Torilla. Torilla now to Domingo. And this man has caused us no end of problems today. Domingo and Torilla play the 1-2. We play to Hernandez. Then to Burrow. Oh... My goodness. Well, this hasn't been an exceptionally fun time. It was almost another goal. What are you doing? You're not even trying. Can we just like get something? Some sort of consolation? Please? No. We were categorically outclassed by St. Joseph's this game. It's no surprise that they defeated Lincoln Red Imps. I don't actually know what they've done. Um, that wasn't good enough. I don't know why there are people in the squad that aren't motivated, but that was atrocious. And the subs played even worse. No, they're the people that I subbed off. The people that I subbed in to replace them, how did they go? Not so great. And also not so great. Hmm. So on the positive side, we're still four points in front of Lincoln and six points in front of St. Joseph's. So if we win all of our games and still lose to St. Joseph's out of the rest of the games on offer, we should still win the league. 
that's really quite disappointing for us, to be honest. Um, look, I think probably the next time I see you will be this little double header in April here between College Europa and Lincoln Red Imps. Um, the boys are going to have to do some extra training after that abysmal performance. It's the first time this season since we played um, Basel that we haven't scored. So literally uh, the first time in, in five months, no, more than that, seven months since we've gone a game without scoring. Not good enough. Um, yeah, I will uh, play through the next few games. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways. And I will see you again in time for the College Europa game. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And I will speak to you soon.